Hey everyone, it's sunshine. It's bright and early on a Saturday morning and there are a few estate sales, some yard sales, and I'll probably end up at my favorite Goodwill. So stay tuned. So here's the first one. And the guy was a big Redskins fan. So I got this jacket and a pair of sweatpants and this ugly face mug. <laughs> Good score. On to the next. A lot of people at this one. This one looks promising. Let's go see what they have. And I'm on to the fourth yard sale. Look at how beautiful this is. So I found a bunch of shoes at that one for only $2 a pair. Got some booties in there too. Good haul, worth the walk. And only found these Vionics. But luckily they were only $3.99. Going home now. Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunshine and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And last week I went to um, some estate sales, some yard sales, and Goodwill. And I have a relatively big haul to share with a lot of shoes which is unusual for me. So I think I'm going to start maybe with the shoes. So there were a lot of yard sales this past weekend and I went to one way up in the mountains and it was like a community sale where all the neighbors were coming together and you know, selling their stuff. And I had to walk up this mountain, I don't even know how big it was to get up there. But once I get up there, this lady had shoes laid everywhere on the table. And I was just in awe. I mean, because there were brands that I knew and there were brands that I didn't know. But since then, I've looked them up. So let's see what I got. Okay, first pair I got. I knew the brand name. I didn't know what the resale was on them. But these are Weijins by Bass. And I'm not sure the color on these. They look kind of burgundy maybe. But they are beautiful loafers in beautiful condition. Of course, all of these shoes, I want you to know I've cleaned up before the video because they were dusty because they were sitting outside. But they're all clean and sanitized now. So there's the Weijins by Bass. And these are in a size seven. Really beautiful. Look at the bottoms. I only had to just wipe these off. I'm not even sure she ever wore these. But she, what did she charge me for these? $2. She only charged me $2 for these. And I've looked up the comps on them. And they're going around $45 up to $60. So, yeah, that will be a good return if I can sell these for that. Beautiful. The other pair she had, <laughs> well, she had a lot of pairs, and she had two more pairs of Weijins that were in dirtier condition than these, and I debated about picking them up, but at the time, I didn't know the resale value on them. Now I wish I had picked them all up no matter what, but anyway. So I saw these, and... These are really unique to me. They have the lacing right here. And they kind of look like a moccasin, but they're not. And they have the block heel. And I was looking at these and she's like, oh, you should get those because those were hundreds of dollars. And I look at the brand name and it's Picolinos. Now I've heard that 
name before, but I didn't know anything about him. But she was nice, and they were only $2, and so, yeah, I picked them up. So I got home and ran comps. They aren't worth that much. They um, sell for that much, but the resale value isn't that high. But I just thought these were so unique looking. And these are probably the same size, size 9. And they cleaned up really well. I mean, look at those. Those are so cool. So I'm thinking maybe 30. That might be pushing it, but we'll see what I can get. Okay, next pair of shoes I picked up from her, well, actually not shoes, they're booties, were these cool Nine West black side zip ankle booties. These were $3, and I'm not sure if you can see the Nine West. I have them packed with paper and ready to be photographed. But they cleaned up really well, too. There is a bit of... Um, sticky residue here I have to get off but other than that and here's the other one I mean those are really cool and I think the comps on these were like 30 so yeah I was happy with that and then let me see if I have any more yard sale stuff oh, yeah, I do it's buried of course actually let's go to the estate sale oh I have to get the other piece to it but I went to the only estate, well, I actually went to three, um, but I only found a couple things at this one. The guy was a huge Virginia Tech and Washington Redskins fan. I mean, how many t-shirts of the same style and pattern can you own? Well, this guy had like 20. I mean, he was a big fan. So estate sales are kind of expensive for me, but I wanted to try out some of these. And this is just NFL officially licensed starter jacket in a size L. And I got it because it's a windbreaker, but it has the cool charm for the zipper pull. And it's got the ink, the Indian embroidered on the front. And it's just a pullover quarter zip. But what's weird to me, let me see if I can find it. Okay, one side has a pocket. The other side has a zipper. Like, do you guys know what this would be called? I mean, why is there a zipper? <laughs> why is there a zipper down one side of a men's jacket? Or, yeah, windbreaker. I don't get that. But uh, if any of you know, please let me know. So I paid $5 for it, and I'm not sure what I'll get. Maybe 20 I thought it might be some high thing, but it's not. And it's got the little thing above the cuff. So yeah, that was $5. Hang on, I gotta go get the other piece. Before I film these, I think I have everything in front of me and then inevitably I don't. So <laughs> next thing I picked up were a pair of sweatpants. And these are also Washington uh, Redskins, or wait, yeah, Washington <laughs> Redskins. <clears throat> and they also charged me $5 for these. They have the inner drawstring. And they're in really good condition. The jacket was a size large. Oh, and so are these. These look really big for a large, but anyway. So they're in really good condition. And hopefully, I don't know, hopefully at least $20. I mean, like I said, I'm trying the sports stuff out and see if it does any good. And then at another yard sale, I found these with the box. And I forget what these are called now. You think, oh, and Andre, E-N-D-R-E, -E, Red Rose Sandals. In gorgeous condition. I mean, I'm not even sure these were worn. But look at all the embossed leather. That is so cool. And then they have the buckle on the side. Because look at the bottoms. I'm not sure these were ever worn. Even though I cleaned them up, I only had to wipe them off. 
but these are a size eight. And like I said, they have the box. So I don't know, maybe 40, 45. I looked up comps, but of course I've forgotten since I looked them up. Good thing I save them to my phone. Okay, and the last two items I think that I got at another yard sale <clears throat> were napkin ring holders. I knew I forgot something else. I have to go get it too. It's all coming back to me. Okay, so I got these napkin holders because last time I saw a set of these in Goodwill and didn't pick them up and went home and ran comps. Yeah, I will pick them all up from now on. So these, um, I'm not even sure if they're wood or, if they're wood, they're heavily glazed. But they're just your napkin holders. And this one had a set of seven, and she had them in these bags. And they were only, well, wait, what did she want for these? She wanted $3 for both of them. But I told, I asked her, I go, if I buy both, will you give them to me for five? And she did, so. I paid $2.50 each set. The next ones are really beautiful. These are wood. They're hand-painted. Really pretty. Thing is, there's only a set of five, I think, but I don't know with these. I mean, I'm still looking at comps on them, but maybe 20, maybe for the bigger set, 25. I'm not sure yet. I will have to look. I'll get that other item in a minute. <clears throat> okay, next item. These I think, yeah, these are from Goodwill. So I always, what I do is I start out estate sailing, then I hit the yard sales, and then I always end up at um, Goodwill, which isn't really close to me, but I plan my route up that way. So the first thing I picked up was for $3, and it is a torrid size zero yeah it's a torrid size zero and it is a lightweight flannel pullover shirt and it's got the v-neck no i don't think there's any buttons nope but it's lightweight and it's got the shirt tail hem with the vents and since it's torrid i don't know torrid doesn't doesn't resale for what it used to. So I'm thinking maybe 15, 20 on that. And then the next item I picked up because it was so pretty. I mean, it's so unique. I don't know if somebody bleached it or what, but I've never heard of this and I can't even read it. Isabel, Isabel somebody. Yeah. But I picked it up because it's this pretty it felt like a um, flannel, but it's more like denim. And it's got the ruffle detail, button front. Well, half button front. But I just love the colors in this. And like I said, it looks bleached, maybe. You know, like somebody intentionally bleached it. Maybe the actual maker of the item, I'm not sure. It's got long sleeves, button cuffs. It's got a little um, pleating in the back, yoke for a little styling. It's got the shirt tail hem, shirt tail high low hem. So I only paid $3.29, I think, for this. So yeah, I'm hoping it'll bring at least $20. Fabrics break. This next shirt I got for my husband, but I'm gonna show it anyway. And it's just a Gildan 2X tie-dye. Oh, actually tagged on it. Yeah, $3. T-shirt. Love the colors on it. And most of his, his tie-dye t-shirts have branding on them. So this one doesn't and hopefully he likes it. And then the next item I got were a pair of sweatpants by the brand Fresh produce, so they're made in the USA, and they are a size medium. It's the fresh produce tag, and I only paid $4 for them. 
They've got side pockets. They've got kind of a paper bag elastic waist and jogger style with the elastic cuffs. And they're in good condition. So I'm thinking 20 maybe, maybe less. I haven't really looked at comps yet and I'm gonna try those on. So we'll see how that works. And the next item I got, did I go to my honey hole? Let me look, I might have gone to my honey hole. Nope. Sorry guys, I'm discovering things I forgot I got. No, I didn't go to my honey hole that day. Okay, so I also got at Goodwill this bag of um, toiletry items, lotion and shampoo and conditioner. And I thought maybe some of them would be worth some money, but I looked up a few of the brand names and no. And, um, some of them are from Walking Stick Casino, which I, I think is closing, so maybe eventually they will be. I don't know. You can always lot this stuff together and it sells pretty good on eBay. And I only paid $3 for the whole thing, so <clears throat> we'll see what that brings. Next item I got because it was so cute. It's just a uh, it's just a Talbot size six. I gotta stop picking up Talbots. I don't think I've sold one Talbots piece. But I picked this up because it's bright colored and it has lobsters on it. I just thought it was really unique. I mean, it doesn't have pockets. It's just a side zipper. And it's lined. But I just thought somebody would like this. Probably won't. I'll probably sit on it till spring. Maybe even summer. But I'm thinking somebody might want that for 2025. And the next item I got were a pair of Levi's. These are 505 straight in a size 10. So I only paid five, no, I only paid $4.29 for these, that's right. And they are just light wash basic, no distressing. Five pockets, these smell like perfume. I mean, <coughs> what are you trying to cover up when you wear this much perfume? Um, so I don't know, maybe 15, 20. Oh Lord, those have got to be washed. I can't even put those with the other items. Okay, so that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to let you know that I ordered another men's uh, rescue box from Thread Up. So I can't wait to get it. The last one that I ordered, I had great luck with. Have any of you ordered from Thread Up, the rescue boxes? If so, let me know in the comments what your experience was. I really want to try one of the shoe boxes, but every time I have the money for it, they're sold out. And, you know, that is a big, you could lose money on, in other words, so I'm not sure. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And think of subscribing to my channel because I try to bring you a couple videos a week. And um, sales are really good for me. I hope you guys' sales are good as well. Hope everybody's having a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.